This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. A bomb scare that happened yesterday in downtown Ithaca remains under investigation. Ithaca police and fire responded to the Hilton Garden Inn on Seneca Street yesterday around 3 p.m. for reports of a bomb on the roof. As standard protocol, police evacuated the Hilton and nearby buildings as search dogs swept the area. Police say canine units sniffed out an air servicing device on the roof, which was not an explosive device. The scene was cleared by 5 o'clock with no injuries. And staying in Tompkins County, jury selection is set to begin today in the Benjamin Kaia murder trial. Kaia is accused of strangling his girlfriend, 23-year-old Shannon Jones. Last Thanksgiving, Jones was choked to death in his Cayuga Heights apartment. Kaia pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder charges in January, but prosecutors say he admitted to both friends and police after the crime that he was responsible for Jones's death. Kaia is currently in the Tompkins County Jail without bail. And happening tonight, the Horsehead School District will hold another public information session about the possible merger with the Elmira Heights School District. This is the second of three public meetings for Horseheads. Residents will have a chance to hear about the merger study and ask questions. During the public comment session last week in Elmira Heights, many community members expressed concerns over the merger study, saying the information provided is too vague. Tonight's meeting will be held at 7 p.m. in the Multimedia Center in Horseheads High School. And the holidays are getting closer, and that means the Arctic League is getting ready for their busy season. But one thing is still missing, the bell ringer. Last night, the Arctic League posted on its Facebook page that they have not received any applications for the position yet, and there's only 10 days left to apply. To qualify, you must be a child from Chemung County between the ages of 6 and 12. If you're selected as the bell ringer, you will be the youth ambassador for the 2015 Arctic League campaign. That means you will represent the Arctic League at various functions, ride in the Amaya Christmas Parade, help with the annual broadcast at the Clemens Center, and be a part of opening and closing the big book. Interested kids should write a letter to the Arctic League's P.O. Box with why you want to help the Arctic League. The deadline to receive applications is October 23rd. Now here's Craig Flint with today's forecast. Hey, Craig. Hey Leanne, okay, good morning to you. Good morning everyone. Temperatures still in the 50s and 60s to start and it's kind of a changeable day today. 67 that occurs probably midday early afternoon and then temperatures will slowly start to fall into the upper 50s to near 60 to finish the day. Now I mentioned it's changeable. Notice winds southwesterly initially and then by this afternoon shifting west and northwesterly and it will become gusty I think today. And there will be some showers moving through this morning. And then I think we get a little bit of sun out for a little while into the afternoon and uh, at least for part of the afternoon. But then there's also the risk for a, a shower or two to come through this afternoon as well. So kind of a changeable day today. Overnight tonight, skies will increase with cloud coverage and maybe a few showers and a low of 46. Ithaca today, a high of 67. Notice southwesterly winds becoming northwesterly, 515. A high of 66 in Watkins Glen. Showers this morning, and then maybe one more shower this afternoon. Should be a little bit of sunshine in between. A high of 67 for Elmira. Again, these numbers figure about midday, early afternoon, and then slowly starting to backpedal. 66 Corning. Some scattered showers moving through this morning and then a renewed risk for a scattered shower or two this afternoon. Mansfield, a high of 65 today. We shift the view over towards Sayre, a high of 68. So temperatures this morning starting in the uh, 50s and 60s, but uh, as we finish the day, most of us should be in the upper 50s to near 60 by sunset. And we have this little batch of wet weather that's coming through this morning, uh, working its way through the region here. That's with a disturbance that's coming through. And then I think for a little while this afternoon, we're gonna be kind of in this area here, which, it does have a little bit of clearing, so that's why I think we'll try to give you at least a little bit of sunshine, but not too far away to the north and west, our next front. That will come through here, and as it does so and settles its way south, we have the opportunity for a, a scattered shower or two this afternoon. So there's your wet weather this morning moving through. You can see that shifts its way to the east. During the afternoon, as the next front comes through, a scattered shower or two with a breeze picking up, shifting to the north and west 5 to 15 overnight tonight. 
Increasing clouds, maybe a shower or two. Lows in the 40s and Wednesday's kind of a day where it's cloudy and there's a chilly breeze. And there's scattered showers and some sprinkles coming through at times. You can see that activity right there behind me. Uh, and then as we head into Thursday, I think Thursday we actually will escape mainly rain free. Should be a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures 55 to 60 on Thursday. Our next weather maker slides in from the north and west by Friday, and that is the weather maker that means business because temperatures take a beating by the weekend. So let's talk today though. Turns cooler to finish the day, upper 50s to near 60. So 67 occurs probably around midday. Uh, 55 on Wednesday with scattered showers, a chilly breeze. 58 mainly dry weather on Thursday, and then we get into Friday and into Saturday. Here we go. Uh, wind and some wet weather Friday and a high of 56. Then we go down to 47 on Saturday and yeah, you're not, your eyes aren't deceiving you. We do have feature some flakes, some scattered wet snowflakes, higher elevation Saturday, especially late in the day. Sprinkles, a breeze and chilly at 47. A little bit better on Sunday with a high of 49, a little more sun. And then as we head into Monday, 54. But some of the coolest air of the season, as a matter of fact, Leanne, check out Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, 30s. That means if you have agricultural interests or you're a farmer or something like that, you'll want to pay attention to the forecast as we head into the weekend. Leanne? We need more days like yesterday, though. It's beautiful it yesterday. Amazing yesterday. So yeah, maybe in the near future, we'll, we'll get see. like one or two more. November can be kind of tricky sometimes. Sometimes yeah. we feature temperatures in the 70s, but it looks uh, doesn't look like we're going to see the weather we had yesterday for a little while. No, flakes are going to be popping up more than we want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day, everyone.